Carolina Lizard Man In the sweltering heart of the South Carolina swamps, where the air hung heavy with the scent of decay and secrets, the legend of the Lizard Man lived on. Whispered tales told of a creature, half man, half reptile, that stalked the murky waters in dense foliage, preying on the unwary. Despite the skeptics, the fear among the locals was real, a palpable dread that intensified with each new moon. Julian, a journalist with a taste for the unexplained, arrived in the small town of Bishopville, intent on uncovering the truth behind the myth. Armed with a camera, recorder, and an insatiable curiosity, he ventured into the swamp, guided by the stories of those who claimed to have encountered the beast. As he delved deeper into the labyrinth of water and trees, the civilization's noises faded, replaced by the sounds of nature's untamed wildness. It was here, in the silence between the chirps and rustles, that Julian first sensed he was not alone. Something was watching him, its gaze as tangible as the humid air that pressed against his skin. Night fell swiftly, the swamp enveloping Julian in darkness. It was then that the chase began. A sound, guttural and inhuman, echoed through the trees, followed by the splash of something large moving through the water. Julian ran, his heart pounding, the beam of his flashlight cutting a swath through the night, revealing glimpses of his pursuer. The lizard man was relentless, its movements a blur of scales and muscle, its eyes reflecting the light with an otherworldly glow. Julian's rational mind struggled to comprehend the creature that hunted him, a living embodiment of the swamp's deepest fears. In a clearing under the light of the moon, Julian made his stand. The recorder in his hand captured the sounds of the swamp, the creature's growls, and his own ragged breaths. He knew that this might be his last chance to tell the story of the Lizard Man, to reveal the truth hidden in the shadows of Bishopville. But as the Lizard Man stepped into the clearing, revealing its full, terrifying form, Julian realized that the creature was not advancing with the aggression he had anticipated, but rather with a hesitancy that spoke volumes of its true nature. The Lizard Man, towering and fearsome with scales that shimmered under the moonlight, stopped at the edge of the light cast by Julian's flashlight. Its eyes, so easily mistaken for malevolent in the chaos of the chase, now reflected a depth of intelligence and surprisingly sadness. Julian, his fear momentarily forgotten, lowered his camera, sensing an unspoken truce between them. The creature's gaze shifted to the recorder in Julian's hand, then back to his eyes, a silent plea evident in its posture. In a moment of intuition, Julian pressed play on the recorder, allowing the sounds of their frantic pursuit to fill the clearing. The lizard man listened, its body relaxing as the recording played, a complex array of emotions passing over its features. As the last echoes of the recording faded into the night, the lizard man took a step back, its gaze never leaving Julian. Then, with a suddenness that left Julian reeling, the creature spoke. Its voice was rough, strained as if unused to human speech, but its words were clear. Protect my story, it said, before turning and disappearing into the swamp, leaving Julian alone with his thoughts and the recorder still clutched in his hand. The encounter, far from being the culmination of a horror story, had become something entirely unexpected, a plea for understanding and preservation. Julian realized that the Lizard Man, far from being the monster of local legend, was a guardian of the swamp's secrets, a being caught between worlds. He left the swamp that night with a story far different from the one he had expected to tell. The footage and recordings he had taken were not evidence of a monster to be feared, but a testament to the misunderstood and the mysterious. Julian's article, when it was published, did not sensationalize the horror of the Lizard Man, but instead called for the protection of the swamps and their hidden inhabitants. And so, the legend of the Lizard Man of Bishopville took on a new dimension, not as a tale of terror, but as a reminder of the mysteries that lie in the wild places of the world, waiting for those brave enough to seek them out and wise enough to leave them undisturbed. The surprise was not in the existence of the Lizard Man, but in the revelation of its humanity and in the understanding that sometimes the monsters we fear are simply beings trying to survive in a world that no longer recognizes them.
Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 6 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.